Peeps, it's so important that you learn the ins and outs of supports. I, it makes me so sad when I see people with these beautiful models totally encased in supports. And when I also see them using nasty clippers and cutting themselves and grinding and scraping their supports off. This is my John Carver mask. Okay, you'll see my supports just here on a little piece of the mustache. My tree here in the back. And just a little bit here underneath the beard for uh, bed contact, really. And that's it. And when you learn how to work with supports and support density and support placement and the types of supports and the Z gap and all those different things, you come up with supports you don't need to scrape and pry and clip off. You come up with supports you just grab and pop it right off. Poke around my YouTube watch some of my videos and learn how to make better supports. Also, something they don't tell you in kindergarten, it matters the filament that you use. For example, Creality HP Ultra is a really nice filament, but it's not overly hard, right? It's not overly strong. It's strong enough, but filaments such as HP Ultra it says HP Ultra on here somewhere, there it is. This stuff is really strong. And the same support job with this, way harder to get off than it is with this. So don't just focus on your supports. Focus on the supports for what filament you are working with because it can make a difference. Also, don't be afraid to go over to fancy stores, like the really, really fancy stuff like Dollar Tree and get some fancy tools that cost like a dollar or it's 2023, right? So it's a dollar and a quarter now because everything costs more now. So and you just take your little fancy dollar and a quarter tool. Pop your sports off. Hey.